Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is about a quick review of um, Lining Badminton Racket and uh, your next shuttlecock that I uh, recently bought from Flipkart. So I used to play a lot of uh, badminton in the uh, childhood but then uh, I somehow lost in touch with it and there was a huge gap of 20 years and then somewhere the last year we bought a you know badminton uh, uh, racket from T-Mart, I think it's uh, Bokai, Bokai badminton racket so it was around 249 rupees and uh, we used to play now and then and then um, there was again this lockdown and then there was again a gap but then over the last few months we've been playing uh, quite frequently so uh, there was uh, this damage uh, to the string as you can see this string has come off and uh, we thought of you know uh, buying a better quality uh, badminton uh, this time so I searched a lot and uh, I wasn't knowing very, very well about the you know best brands and also I then decided to you know search Google as to how what's the, what's the best brand um, of badminton. So uh, uh, this I found Lining uh, to be the third uh, top brand in the world. So the first two were beyond my budget because I didn't want to spend more than around 500, 600 or 700 or maximum 800 on a badminton racket at this point. So um, yeah, and then I uh, went to Flipkart and then I just typed uh, Lining um, uh, racket and the very first option I got was. Uh, uh, the Lining XP94, so this was the one. So I've been playing uh, with this uh, uh, for quite some time. I didn't open this particular one uh, for this video, but I've, I've been using the other one. So uh, yeah, and there was a rating of around, uh, I think four, um, more than 25,000 people have rated uh, on an average of four. So uh, that was uh, good enough for me. And see, this is how it is. Let me open it. Okay, here we go. So this is an oval shaped uh, head and um, with a 20mm beam and its uh, strings are quite, uh, you know, quite resistant and the shaft is made of, uh, you know, aluminum and ferrum, very lightweight, it just weighs 86 gram, of course, without the string and the grip. So it comes with a G4 grip and uh, the earlier badminton uh, racket that I was using was a little heavier, um, but this one is quite light actually. So uh, yeah, that th this was about uh, the badminton racket, and then um, uh, we've been using the feather uh, shuttlecock uh, uh, overall, and then uh, oftentimes we you know uh, we had to cancel uh, what we are playing. We have to you know um, stop playing just for uh, the wind to stop, and then you know this the best condition to play with a with a feather uh, shuttlecock is when there is no wind. But then, oftentimes, the area where I stay with, you know, along, alongside the mountains, uh, there is a lot of, uh, you know, windy situations here, and then uh, it was quite frustrating, uh, you know, stop, play, stop, play, and I, I uh, searched uh, quite um, a lot about uh, different types of shuttlecocks like feather, nylon, and uh, plastic, and then okay, I thought okay, let's go with nylon one because it's a little heavier than. Uh, the feather because it will uh, play against the gravity a little bit better than the feather uh, shuttlecock. So uh, yeah, so I searched for the best shuttlecock brand um, and then I got to know that it's Yonex and then I typed best shuttlecock in India and then this is what I what it came up with. Mavis 350, this is it. So uh, again I went to Flipkart and then I just typed shuttlecock. This is the same thing that popped up. Over 49,000 people have rated it around. 4.3 that was too good that was too good for me it's very reliable actually and uh, yeah so uh, although there were almost over 700 options when you type shuttlecock and then I you know didn't actually uh, plan to buy you know uh, uh, spend 879 rupees here uh, but then uh, I thought okay if we are going to play it for a long time for a, you know consistently why not spend that much and uh, you know get a good quality uh, shuttlecock and I'm, I'm really glad that I made this choice. Uh, it's a very you know, high quality uh, shuttlecock. So we have been using this uh, shuttlecock for over the last month and I find it very reliable, very consistent, very durable and um, it, it travels with great momentum and speed. And uh, yeah, th there's definitely a noticeable difference uh, between playing with a shuttlecock uh, which is feather and a shuttlecock which is nylon because it sort of uh, feels artificial at first because the feather shuttlecock is what uh, I felt natural to play this uh, game with 
this was something uh, you know I took some time to get adjusted because with the same amount of speed with the same amount of force this uh, this shuttlecock travels far high uh, the, the distance and the for the speed with which it travels uh, is quite higher but yes definitely it has an advantage uh, to play in the windy situations though it is not completely foolproof but uh, it uh, can you know you can very well play in windy, windy situations as well if you hit it hard enough so yeah this has been my experience and uh, this is the second one i opened just today because the uh, previous one which I, we had been playing with uh, went inside some small tank there was an opening and it went and it was quite deep uh, so it went right into the water and then uh, that's how it's lost but it was very uh, in in a very good situation actually we've been playing in it for a month and uh, you know nothing uh, no damage whatsoever had ha uh, happened to the previous uh, shelf box so i'm yep i'm very satisfied <laughs> with this purchase also, the reason I got it from Flipkart is because, uh, um, as you can see, the difference between the price rate, uh, the badminton, was yeah uh, priced higher in Amazon, but uh, the shuttlecock was priced at a similar price. But then, since I'm already buying it from Flipkart, uh, I thought of you know buying it both from that. So yeah, uh, this has been my experience of you know how to find it, how to search Google. Um, if you don't know anything about a particular product and then how to search in Flipkart or Amazon and you know you can filter out based on the ratings and reviews and uh, yeah that gives a very good idea as to whether to purchase the product or not. So yeah that's it for now guys and uh, I'll see you around.